Do you know what to do? Would you set on place? Well, you probably should, because you have some pretty amazing tiles to the north. But that got me thinking. Which one should we work first? Should we work the three production one and one food, or the three food one and one production? We all know production is basically the best thing ever in this game. However, what about at the very start of the game when you first found a city? Do you really want to work the three production and one food tile? There are obviously many different build orders, things to consider, etc. But let's just keep this simple and go for a typical D80 build order, at least for myself. A scout, a warrior, a builder, and then a settler. Here are two simulations run through world builder. On the left hand side we'll work the three production, one food tile first. And once the city hits two population we'll then work the three food, one production tile. And once the city hits three population we'll just work some random two food, one production tile. For the city on the right, we'll do the exact opposite. We'll work the three food, one production tile first. And then once it gets a two population, we'll work the three production, one food tile and go from there. Let's go ahead and start the simulation. You can see right off the bat, the three production, one food tile will produce the scout one turn sooner. So on turn six instead of turn seven. But look at that. The city on the right hand side is up to two population and they're working two tiles already. But there's still one turn behind the other city. Get the warrior out. All right, turn 11 for the one on the left. And then turn 12, okay, they're coming up. They're catching up here. And now we're going for the builder next. Six turns, five turns. But on the left-hand side, you have the three production, one food tile. They have something up their sleeve, look at that. Boom, two population. Look at that, die, two, two. They're both tied up. Making the builder now turn 18. Now we're going for the settler. And you can see the city on the right hand side can work three tiles. It's pretty much game over for the city on the left. We thought the three production tile would come through in the end, but man, it cannot compete with actually growing your city and working an additional tile. But there we go, the writing's on the wall. Let's even rewind a few turns to see why working the three food tile is even better. Look at when the three food, one production tile producer settler, they're at two population and it only takes three turns to grow. However, if you look at the other one, they're down the two population as well, but they're gonna take seven more turns to get up to three population. So you're gonna be even slower in the future. Right off the bat, based off of this one test, it is more beneficial to work the three food, one production tile first. So what exactly is going on here? Well, here on the right-hand side, we have a plot of the turn number on the x-axis and the total production here on the y-axis. We have two different data sets. The orange one represents working the three food, one production tile first, while the teal squares represents working the three production, one food first. Right off the bat, it's pretty obvious. The one with higher production will have more production, but once the three food, one production tile city reaches two population, it can work both tiles and then eventually plays catch up until the other city reaches two population. And then they work, they have the same exact production until the original city, the three food, one production tile reaches three population and they work an additional tile and go it's go ahead of the three production, one food tile until that one reaches three population. And then it'll just go on forever this way. So now you might be saying, what if the difference was only one? Right now we have three production, one food or three food, one production. It's a difference of two. But what if it was two production, one food, or two food, one production? So I ran the same exact test in World Builder. The two production, one food tile, if you work that one first, you build the scout on turn six, warrior on turn 13, builder turn 21, settler on turn 32, you end up with two population and it takes 23 more turns to get to three. If you work the two food, one production tile first, you build the scout on turn seven, the warrior on turn 14, the builder on turn 21, and the settler on turn 32, but more importantly, you end up with two population and only 15 turns to grow. The next thing you might consider is the starting location. We have a pretty good starting location right here, a two food and two production, plus the palace as additional two production for our capital city. Since the base food that you can ever have in your, in your city is two, we decided to double it. So I went to four and then ran a simulation, and you can look here just by this graph, if you work the three food, one production tile first, it catches right up 
around turn 12 in terms of production and then starts going ahead around turn 20 and then eventually we'll just keep going and going. The only difference here is it only takes two turns for the cities to catch up in population. So there we have it. Lesson learned. Work the food tile and then actually build the settler second so you can actually win DD.